fresh from their plush wedding in London on Valentine's Day, Prophet Racine and Evangelist Ruth will be arriving at the Blaise Diagne International Airport in Dakar, Senegal to complete the final civil rights of their marriage. The newly wedded couple will once again hold a private ceremony similar to the just ended event on Valentine's Day in Tarpoli. In civil marriages in Senegal, applications are filed at a marriage center of either the spouse's place of domicile or residence. Their marriage will then be solemnized by a public officer. Once the spouses have declared their vows, the state's register registers the marriage immediately. A colorful African wedding awaits the couple who just had their white wedding on Lover's Day the 14th of February. Meanwhile, Evangelist Ruth's brother, Chris Tong, expressed delight and appreciation on the union of the couple, saying, Congratulations to my beloved brother and sister, Racine and Ruth. Congratulations on your divine union. As our mentor, Prophet T.B. Joshua, taught us, the bedrock of lasting marriage is the joyful recognition that you belong together in God to fulfill mutual destiny in Christ. What more can I say? But thank you, Jesus Christ. Unquote. Already, questions have been raised by social media users as to the whereabouts of the leader of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Mrs. Evelyn Joshua, in the official pictures and video released. Some say, as an important person in their lives, she should have been given some recognition in their photo shoot, whilst others claim she might not have been at the wedding since she was not in the official photos released. We'll bring you more on the civil marriage this weekend only on AMTV.